Right, big loss for Australia. We're going to go try and touch a couple of Australian supporters. We're just going to walk around here and see, see if we can get you. I'm, I've joined by a bunch. Sorry, hello everybody, how are we doing? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. sorry, we have to, we have to, we have to. Ooh. Ooh. Long, long night, uh, how are we feeling? Well, someone threw this yellow paint on me when I <laughs> yeah. left before. You're, you're actually Walsh. Oh, yeah, hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. there we go. <laughs> oh, I mean, it was... Oh, you got beer. Ah, beer. Like, this is... You, well, I'm not getting on a train, am I? So, you know, fair, fair enough. might as well wait it out with a beverage. Okay, so it's so a long night. Uh, we'll just try and sum up the, the, the evening for you guys. Uh, it was hot. Hopefully. Oh, when he blew the whistle at the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. best, best, best moment, eh? That was it. It was, it was finally done. Go on, please put me out. Was, was optimistic going in. The first half wasn't too bad. They showed some flashes, yeah. but every chance they had to score, they were their own worst enemy. They, you know, like it wasn't... Like it was a good physical first half. Like Rob Valentini, some of those guys were yeah. playing out of their skin, but like I said, every time they had an opportunity, they squandered it themselves. It wasn't... It wasn't, you know, the Welsh played well, obviously, but like, that's too many to, mistakes. Too what many, do you say? Look, too many mistakes. So like, many, lots, like every time they had a chance, they messed up their chance to score. So yeah. lots of penalties as well. Very ill discipline. Yeah. Eddie Jones talks about saving Australia rugby, the 2027 vision, the World Cup, the British and Irish Lions series. Ask him not to save us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Please stop saving us. Yeah. What what has to happen between now and 2025 and 2027 for Australia to be competitive? Consistency, I think. Like, there's too much turnover in the coaching staff, and there's too much shuffling around with the lineups. Like, you look at the better teams in the world, and they have these consistent players who are playing for two, three, four World Cups. We used to have that, and now the lineups being shuffled every other game you see, and it's not working. Like, you've got to try to. I guess pick a squad, stick to it, and develop that team and develop a style of play that works for them. That, that's a very interesting point because you're watching the game and you're sitting there watching Australian side that are making errors, that are conceding penalties, and you kind of look yeah, at where the, where, where, yeah, <laughs> where, where, where the leadership is, and you think about Michael Hooper being left behind. You think about Quake Hooper being left behind. Those decisions were always very big decisions. The right ones, the wrong ones. Was it worth sacrificing that sort of that experience, that that class now? for that long-term game, or do you think that having that bit of experience tonight would have made a difference? No, I think it would have, I mean, I don't think we would have necessarily won that game out of it, but having that experience does make a difference. Like, I mean, I'm not a big Quade Cooper fan, if I'm being completely honest, I don't like his style of play, but I think Hooper's been a consistent presence for a long time, and would have, you know, even if he's not playing his best rugby as he's getting on in years, he still, you know, would have been a great addition to the team from a leadership standpoint, so I do think leaving him out you know, at, at the last, at the very last stages, just before they came here, was, that's the thing as was well. a mistake. He was, he was involved you know, like, the entire I think, time. I think, I think everybody expected him to be here, and even the team themselves probably went, "Oh, he's, you know, yeah. now, that, that's that's our guy, that's our captain for the longest time, and now he's, and now he doesn't get a plane ticket here." Like I don't know, like, like it's, I don't agree with that decision, but and the coach. So, there you go. well, guys, the beer's cold, the weather's nice. Have a good evening, regardless. Oh, uh, commiserations, and uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you.